We're back with our series, By the Book. So there's this nearly 90-year-old novel, guys, that, that's still stumping readers today, but it's no ordinary whodunit. It's a puzzle, and it's gaining popularity all these years later thanks to a group of devoted folks on TikTok. Mm. I found this murder mystery book from 1934. The book cover says it's a novel problem. A lot of folks would say it's impossible. An 89-year-old murder mystery with the viral interest of the 21st century. It's a puzzle book. And so far, as anyone can tell, only four folks have solved it since 1934. And it was almost unheard of until Sarah Scannell gave it new life on TikTok in 2021. I'm a big uh, murder mystery fan, but I had never heard of Kane's Jawbone. How did you hear about this book? I was immediately intrigued as someone who likes logic puzzles. The book's only 100 pages, but the interest in those pages, off the charts. 100 million views on TikTok, translated into 12 languages. Henry, he's everywhere. You have no idea who he is, what he's done, or what he's going to do. And thousands weighing in on how to solve the mystery. It's 100 pages printed purposefully out of order that you then have to put in the correct order and then proceed to solve a mystery where you have to figure out the six murderers and their six victims. So it's all incredibly convoluted and it's full of wordplay and allusions to things. The book is meant to be torn apart, literally. I understand that uh, you've had this dream of having like a one of those murder boards like we see in, in uh, in the crime dramas. Is that true? Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, I feel like every kid grew up watching these kind of things. After Sarah went to work on the puzzle and posted her progress on TikTok. These, like, two sections are to do with the narrator. The book's publisher, John Mitchinson, says she single-handedly created a literary hurricane. Oh, this little column here is all um, pages that have couplets that I've actually managed to put together. Within about a week, they've got over 10 million views, and we have been running to keep it in print ever since. Even Daniel Craig's character in Glass Onion got in on the intrigue, the book visible on the floor outside his bathtub. So what's the hardest part of this book? I can't imagine solving this without Google. And even that's not even like cheating. It barely helps. Kane's Jawbone was written by Edward Powies Mather, an author, poet, and creator of cryptic crosswords who used the pen name Torquemada. After he published his puzzle book, he announced a contest to solve Kane's Jawbone. Two men figuring it out, each one winning a cash prize. Mather's died in 39, and I think most people assumed that the solution had died with him. In fact, John found both the book and the official solution at this literary museum in England that partnered with his publishing company to reprint Kane's Jawbone in 2019. They also brought back a new competition for anyone who could solve it. And we had 11 entries, and one guy got it right, and he is a man called John Finnemore, who's a UK comedy writer and a puzzle nut. John admits, at first, even he didn't understand the mystery, but offers up some helpful hints to know. It's very much set in, in the 1930s, some London, some provincial England, a knowledge uh, of kind of railway timetables, uh, understanding uh, something about poisonous plants, a good right. working knowledge of, uh, of Oscar Wilde is apparently useful to know. Since so many people are working on the puzzle, the publishers have continued the competition. Where are you in your in your quest to solve this? I have not submitted an answer yet. It's one step forward, two step back uh, situation. So I'm definitely in it. I dance with the. That's oh, pretty cool. I, I, I don't think I could even begin to start this because you it's, could. It's yeah, but uh, who has time? So yeah. you rip the pages out. You rip the pages but out. You oh, you, I would think you'd read it first, just so right. you have an idea, and then you try to organize it. But it, it's it, it, people, like I said, four people in almost 90 years. So there is an spoilers. answer. Yes, there is an answer. Okay. There is an answer. Okay. So the publishing company's running the contest for at least another year. So far, out of hundreds of replies, a small number of people did solve the puzzle, but their names like the solution still under lock and key. No prize money, but they will be inducted into the newly created Kane's Jawbone Club. Why won't they release their names, I wonder? Well, because people might try to find yeah, out from get them. The answer. Get the answers. That is fascinating. Yeah, That's crazy. Yeah, it's really kind of cool. cool. Something old literally is new again. I was just about again. to say, yeah. I like right. it.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.